Everybody's really been looking forward to the new video from Lumpy and the Lumpets. Even Lumpy! Russell's a huge fan. He can't wait to tell all his friends about it. Hey, Russell! You didn't create that video! You just copied someone else's content! Uploading someone else's content without permission could get you into a lot of trouble. It may be yeah. copyright infringement. <laughs> copyright is a form of protection for original works of authorship, including literary, dramatic, musical, graphic, and audiovisual creations. Copyright infringement occurs when a copyrighted work is reproduced, distributed, performed, or publicly displayed without the permission of the copyright holder or the legal right to do so. Even though YouTube is a free site, you can get in serious trouble for copyright infringement. You can be sued and found liable for monetary damages. You could lose your booty. Or worse, you could lose your YouTube account. You only get a few chances. If YouTube receives a valid notification of alleged copyright infringement from a copyright holder for one of your videos, the video will be removed in accordance with the law. You'll be notified via email and in your account, and you'll get a strike. If YouTube finds you're a repeat offender, you'll get banned for life. Here's an idea. Why not make your own video? Uh-oh, you're making a video of Lumpy's live performance of his song, which is still protected by copyright. You still may not be able to upload it without permission. Oh, Russell, your reuse of Lumpy's content is clever, but did you get permission for it? Mashups or remixes of content may also require permission from the original copyright owner, depending on whether or not the use is a fair use. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. If someone copies your work after you posted it, you have the right to take it down. YouTube provides tools for rights holders to control the use of their content. If someone takes down your video by mistake, or as a result of a misidentification of the material to be removed, there's a counter-notification process for that. You can send YouTube a notice that there was an error. But be careful. If you misuse the process, you could end up in court. And then you would get in a lot of trouble. That's how the law works. That's more like it. By singing an original song, you're creating your own content. When you make an original video, you're the owner of your own copyright. And you have the right to post it to YouTube. Original content is what makes YouTube interesting. Start creating your own and who knows? Your video could explode. If you're still unsure about copyright issues, YouTube has some resources as a starting point. For more information, click the link for copyright at the bottom of every page. 